my table. Today I'm going to read on Michael Flynn, but it's also a rant. Trump says he will be back in the White House as president in August. Yo, this is very concerning. Why is he allowed to continue to say and do these things? I mean, there has to be something that can be done that this is not right. I know you have freedom of speech, but when it comes to talking about the president and that you're going to be replacing him because he's not the real president, that crosses a line of any free speech. This is just my opinion on what I feel and believe, but this is really starting to make me mad. And Michael Flynn, this man is so lucky that he is not in prison. And still, instead of realizing that and going on the straight and narrow, he starts talking about, yeah, we should do an insurrection here. Yeah, we should. And, and Trump should be president. This is not right. Why is this stuff allowed? Why isn't someone doing something about this? I think they're going to. I hope they're going to. But I don't know. I'm really upset. About it. As you can see, I'm very upset about this. So, let's see. I don't. If I don't get. Oh. What can you tell me about Michael Flynn? God. Joke. <laughs> These cards fell right out. No matter how bad something looks, there's always hope. On falseness. And, and that's him. I'm going to leave them. I'm just going to actually just do that and turn them up. Three. Four. Okay, so we have falseness. He's going around spreading lies. We can see that. That's exactly what I'm upset about. No matter how bad something looks, there's always hope. Well, I don't know what the hope is for. <laughs> the room card. Secrets. Things hidden. Fortune. He was very, for as I said, he's very fortunate that he's not in jail. Not in prison. But only because Trump pardoned him. Hope and a prayer. He is on a hope and a prayer. Mature woman. Well, this can be a woman. It can be something that's aged a bit. You know, I'm wondering if Michael Flynn's, because I'm getting that feeling from this card, is really pushing his luck. He was, as I've said, very fortunate that he's not in prison. But you've been doing this long enough that there is no excuse anymore. So don't be surprised if they don't find a way. Merchant from overseas. They're getting help from overseas. I'm telling you, it's Russia. They're getting help. The child card. Something new is already in the works, and I think it is a way to stop this craziness. Um, surprise. I think the surprise is somebody's going to get arrested. This, it, Trump. It, it may be Flynn, too, but Trump. Um, faithfulness. Okay, wait a minute. Michael Flynn's about to get in trouble because he was the one faithful to Trump who serviced the people. This is the house card. I call it the home card because it's everything. So everything 
is really out there with Michael Flynn, and he just doesn't seem to know when to leave things be. He did it all to himself. He did it all to himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, let's not be surprised if Michael Flynn doesn't get arrested somehow, some way. Maybe for state something, because that the pardons won't help him for state crimes. And maybe that's what they were looking for. Um, because it's stupid. You got off of everything you did. You basically sold out your country. But you just keep doing it. Now, he did try to walk that back about, yeah, there should be an insurrection here. But what for? You already said it. And by the way, what are all these QAnon people? What these these and these are the people listening and these are the people following Trump, these QAnon people. You know, even the the, the guy that was asking the question about why can't we do what you know happened someplace. I can't remember what. I am so mad over this. This is just it. Because these people, do they not understand that everything they do is against our country? If you're listening to this conspiracy stuff and all of this, you're going against the country. You're going against what's right. And I do not believe that people are so stupid that they don't know what they're doing. I don't believe that for a second. I think they do know. Just like the ones that attacked the Capitol. Don't tell me they didn't know better. They knew better. They planned it. They knew what they were doing. Part of the problem is we want to make it look like, oh, well, they didn't know. Oh, well, you know, they only watch Fox News. Well, you know, stop me. Excuses for these people. I'm sorry. I'm yelling. I am so I am so aggravated by this. It just continues. And God help us. If we do not start to do something about it and lock these people away, because they're not about the country, they're not about the people, they are about themselves. The same ones that attack people because they're trying. Do, do, should we be attacked when something, our government or something that happens that someone does? You, this is crazy. And this is a selfish thinking that, oh, I can attack them. I can hurt them because they're Chinese or because they're this or because they're that. This is not right. All of this is messed up. But luckily, I think things are going to change, friends. I really do. And I want you to know that. I, I'm just so fired. I'm just so <laughs> I can't help it. There's no way I can talk about this without just wanting to explode. It's just crazy. Enough is enough. See these people for what they are. Traitors. They don't care. They didn't care about the police. They don't care about the police unless they're doing what they want. They don't care about the president unless they're doing what they want. They don't care about the people unless they're doing what they want. See it for what it is. Stop making excuses. Till the next time, friends. Thanks.